holiday ham. Doesn't this look delicious? Today, you guys, I will show you how I, cooking with TK, made this delicious holiday ham with a brown sugar preserve, peach preserve glaze recipe. It's very delicious, you guys. Trust me, this time, and it makes a delicious crust on your ham. Any type of ham that you choose, a Virginia ham, any kind of smoked ham. But let's get into this video. Okay, you guys, so the ham that I will be using is this Kentucky Legend Hickory Smoked Ham. Um, it says it's gluten-free. This um, is $17.45 for this small ham. Okay, it's already cooked, y'all, and it's smoked, okay? So this ham is smoked. So we are going to cook this 20 minutes per pound. So you have to cook it 20 minutes per pound. Y'all see it got some juice in it and everything. And it is 3.65 pounds. Three pounds based on four pounds. Okay. So this is the ham that I'm going to show you guys how to put a delicious glaze on and make it taste good for the holidays. So let's make a holiday ham. So the ingredients will be light brown sugar. I will be using one cup of light brown sugar, one cup of peach preserves. I'm using Smucker's peach preserves. I will be using some Dijon mustard, some corn starch, some pineapple slices, some maraschino cherry, maraschino cherries, some toothpicks, you guys, some toothpicks. And of course, you will need a pan to bake your ham in, okay? Okay, you guys, so this ham is small. It's not big, um, it's not that many of us in my household. But I wanted to make this video to show you guys how you can make a delicious holiday ham that tastes very delicious. Now, you can get whatever size ham you want, but I want you to use the ingredients that I'm about to show you to make some delicious holiday ham um, with the brown sugar preserve glaze, okay? This is gonna be very simple, very easy, okay? So the ham that I bought, you can buy one that's already pre-sliced, um, this one is has scoring already on it, this Kentucky ham, and it's already cooked. So I just wanted to show you guys, see that knife where it scored it? I'm just going to go across it with my knife, okay, for the areas where it's already scored. Now, so you guys can see, okay, and I'm going to go in like that. So I don't really have to worry about how to score this particular ham. And this Kentucky ham, legend ham, is found in Walmart. No, they're not paying me for this video. I'm just telling you what I bought and what I found, okay? I don't need no really big ham, okay? You can also get a ham that's already spiral, okay? And also, if you wanted to make it into slices, already look. They have that too. So you can cook it either or. I mean score it either or either way, okay? So let me zoom in so that you guys can see what I'm talking about with the scoring of this particular ham, okay? Okay, so now you guys can see the scoring of the ham and uh, what I was talking about where all you have to do is just go in with your knife because they already have it sliced, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. They have it where you guys can go ahead and score your ham. They have bigger hams, okay? But this is the ham without the bone in it, which is good, okay? For a small family, simple, easy, okay? Okay, here I have one cup of brown sugar. One cup of brown sugar. 
I also have one cup of the peach preserve. Make sure that everything is just equal parts, okay, for the peach preserve and the brown sugar, okay? So that's one step. Also, you guys, I have my one cup of the Dijon mustard, okay? So we have the Dijon mustard, we have the cup of brown sugar, and we have the cup of the peach preserve. Now, you can use whatever preserve you like, but this is what we're using. And this hand glaze is very simple. It's gonna be a wet glaze, and this is what's going to help the ham crust up. Brown sugar is what helps to get that beautiful, delicious crust that we all like on our ham, okay? And we're going to mix this together, everyone. Just mix it together really, really well. It's gonna be liquidy. Be careful not to get your brown sugar thrown out on the side like I did, okay? But I'm gonna mix this up really, really a well. Tablespoon of the cornstarch, okay? Just a tablespoon. Okay? So that's about a tablespoon of cornstarch. And you're gonna mix that in as well, okay? Just mix everything in really, really well. And that's all you need, okay? You don't need anything else to make a delicious ham with the glaze. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. You guys are going to enjoy this recipe. Okay, you guys, so what I'm going to do is I am going to spread some of this um, glaze that I made, because this ham is already cooked. Remember, it's already smoked. But we still have to cook it 20 minutes per pound, okay? So this is gonna be like an hour and 20 minutes that we have that. Okay, let y'all see that. See that? Mm-hmm. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, so next we are going to start adding in our pineapples and our cherries. Okay, so we're gonna add in one pineapple ring at the time. Okay. And you're gonna press it in with some toothpicks. Yeah, like so. And these two picks are just gonna hold that pineapple in place, y'all. That's all. And you can put peppercorns on here if you want to, okay? Some people do that as well. kids are out of school today, why, I don't know. And my granddaughter said it's a holiday tomorrow. She thought, oh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I'm gonna go all the way around this ham. It's not gonna take that many pineapples because this is small one, so if you got a big one, you know. You can, um, use a lot of pineapples. You won't need but one can of pineapples for something this small. Okay. Let me get one more chair out. I'm not going to do all of these on camera. I'm just showing y'all how to get it on there and I'll do the rest off camera because I know y'all don't want to sit through this and be bored. But some people want to know, you know, what they need to buy before the holidays come up. Okay. Well, we can do one more pineapple on camera. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. I got to pull out some more toothpicks, y'all. I know my hand in the way. So... Why don't you guys leave some comments and tell me what are you guys going to make for the holidays. Because you know you can have a ham on Christmas. You can have it on Thanksgiving. You can have it on Easter. You can have it on any holiday. If you're from the South and you, and you like me, honey, we cook Southern food, soul food all the time. 
like ham on Sunday and fried chicken and stuff like that is what we do down here in the south you know fried fish some delicious food all the time okay and you just poke that in that chair like so like that like tap brown say because that's your business okay let's turn this around can i see how pretty that is oh we're gonna have us a pretty ham ladies and gentlemen Especially on Sunday when it's Soul Food Sunday. This is, um, you can do this with a Virginia ham as far as the glaze and the pineapples and the cherries. Right now, preheat my oven. So, once my oven is preheated, I'm gonna go ahead and cook this 20 minutes per pound. And remember, this is 3.65 uh, pounds. So, I'll say a good hour and 15 minutes at the most, okay? So once it is done, you guys, I'm going to be back and I'm going to show you guys midway because I'm going to come back and I'm going to glaze the ham as well, okay? Midway, we're going to come back and glaze our ham. So let me go ahead and place this in the oven and I'll be back, y'all. everyone so after 30 minutes of cooking i took the ham out of the oven and i decided to go ahead and reglaze it that's what you should do to keep the ham glaze going and that wonderful delicious taste so that you can get that desired crust on the outside of the ham that we all so enjoy on our cooked ham y'all it smells so good at this point I just was like, I wish it was ready right then. Like, you guys got to try this ham glaze recipe on your ham. Trust me, you will enjoy it. Your friends will enjoy it. And your family will enjoy it. Even if you make it for your co-workers, they will enjoy this brown sugar peach preserve glaze ham recipe with the Dijon mustard true oh y'all finger licking good the sauce is awesome but let's get back to the video okay everyone so my ham is done this ham looks very delicious it is very presentable um like this um just put you some nice greenery around it um, some kale, some spinach, um, some buttered lettuce, some parsley or something, um, and sit your ham around it for decorations. I got this serving tray from the Dollar Tree. One dollar is something that you could use one day and throw away, or if you want to wash it, you can reuse it again. But I just want to give you this delicious ham glaze recipe that you can try on any ham that will give your ham that delicious crust this is a delicious holiday ham recipe 
with the brown sugar, the Dijon mustard, and the um, preserves. Share this video out with your friends and your family. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with TK. Um, discuss your holiday ideas in the description box below. Look at that delicious crust, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to my channel for some more delicious recipes for your upcoming holiday. Um, Thanksgiving or Christmas. 